Welcome back to Athletic Everyday, day number 318. This was very simple, I guess you could call it kind of like a recovery workout. Um, main intention with this workout is just to do different varieties of running, get my lower body moving in different planes of motion, uh, get some moderate intensity plyometric ground contact. Um, wasn't really like a programmed or scheduled workout, but you know, I wanted to get something in, I wanted to get some general movement in, so just generally running. I could have just gone for an extended run, but I really find extended running quite boring. Uh, anything over a mile, I kind of find like yeah, a bit tedious, a bit boring. So uh, what you're seeing here is just a bunch of different running variations that I like to do. Um, what's nice about doing different variations of running is it changes the way that if, if you change, you know, for example, if you're running on a curve here, it changes how your ankle interacts with the ground. So you're getting a little bit of ankle inversion, eversion going on there. Um, which is quite nice. The curve linear running is quite nice for practicing approach jumps. So as you do a vertical jump approach, if you curve into the jump, that actually helps to lower your center of mass one way. So for example, if you're a left-right jumper, you're going to want to be leaning your center of mass to the left so that you can really load up that left foot um, on the plant step before you do your block step. So yeah, curve linear running is also um, is, is a quite, is quite an interesting way to get a bit of variety into your running. Uh, skips are obviously, you know, basic, no, not like super duper high intensity skipping, like almost like a bound. This is just very, very low intensity skipping. Uh, and then lateral skipping again. Get, so it's not just all sagittal plane, you know, forward, backward uh, motion. We're doing a little bit of, you know, frontal plane movement here. Again, this is also changing the way that my foot interacts with the ground. Uh, what's also good about this drill is it helps with coordination, timing, and it just improves your movement literacy. If you can move in a different way, then that's improving your body and your nervous system's capacity to move um, in different planes, different ranges of motion, uh, different coordination, different timing. Um, it's all beneficial. So I personally find this more beneficial, although it looks really stupid. I find it more beneficial than just doing general cardio, just like running for however many hours straight, however many minutes straight, whatever it is. Um, and this workout probably took me a total of like 20 minutes at most. Um, and then, yeah, just some lateral, like diagonal skipping. Again, low intensity, not trying to jump too high, not trying to get as much distance as possible. Again, my main focus with this workout was just to get a decent amount of plyometric contacts in, get my, you know, get my, my breathing up, get my heart rate up, um, get the blood flowing, which is also going to help to, which is also going to help to improve recovery from uh, the previous day's workout. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's workout, guys. Um, hopefully this gives you some ideas for what you could do on a recovery day, um, or you can maybe incorporate this into a warm-up for yourselves. Um, hope you got some value, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.